Hello everybody, this is Dan or Crazy Bad Cuber. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a pre-released version of the new Moyu 11 by 11, and this thing is tiny. So this is the box that it's going to come in, and the only English I see on here is all of the contact info for Moyu. So again, Moyu has sent me this as a pre-release. It's not out yet. Apparently it's not gonna be out for another month, but uh, I'm gonna leave links to all of Moyu's uh, social media, Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that down in the description. You guys can follow them there. This is how you find out about these things coming out in case you didn't know. So let's take a look at this puzzle. All right, so it perfectly fits the box. You don't get anything besides the puzzle in this box. And look at the difference in size of this to the other, the Yushin 11 by 11. Now I found that this one here was just really hard to, to hold in my hands. Um, it was, it's, I mean, it's, it's all right, but it's just, I don't like the pink either. So I always wanted red, but it's very big. It's very hard, but it was cubic. So that was a really cool thing to get. However, this one here is so small. Like I could, like it is, it's, it's so small. This is the size of it to a three by three. Of course it's much bigger, but for an 11 by 11, this thing is so tiny. And I really like the size difference because there's the nine by nine and the eight by eight as well. And these things are so small and, and just such a pleasure to use because of the compact size um, that I was really excited for this. And I know that they, I think are coming out with a 10 by 10 and also a 12 by 12. So that's really exciting that we'll get a 12 by 12. All right, so this thing is not greasy at all, and that turns amazing. Wow. Wow, this thing is small, and it's got red. I really like the red. Red is so much better than pink. I don't know what they were thinking with pink. Uh, so let's do a checkerboard. And again, this thing is just so smooth. So smooth. So these are the contrast of white and yellow. Of course, it is a bit exaggerated because they do have some uh, some serious lighting going on. Blue and green, I really like the shades. A nice bright green and a little bit of a darker blue. And the red is a little bit off um, of a red that I would choose, but it's definitely not pink. And the contrast is great. So I think overall, the color scheme they've chosen on this is fantastic. So right off the bat, I do not feel like this thing is too tight at all. Um, it's lubed very well. There's no lube on the outside of the puzzle and it's extremely smooth. I think this, and it's very stable. Like with this one here, you can see that it, it like, you know, it, it's, it moves around a lot while you're playing with it. And even just gripping it like separates layers like with my thumb there. So this one here stays together like really well. Uh, it is not magnetic. I don't think that they would magnetize something like this, but um, wow, that is a seriously nice 11 by 11. And it even cuts corners a little bit. So I am really interested to see what the inside of this looks like because the pieces have to be really, really small. So let's check that out. So if you ever wanna look at the inside of a big puzzle like this, the best thing to do is tape the top layer only. Uh, and then take the screw out. Oh no! <sighs> uh, and then take the screw out. Oh no! What did I just do? Besides look really stupid. I really wanted to play with this today. Well, I guess we get to see what the inside of this thing looks like, don't we? Well, at least this layer is done <laughs> and fixed up, but looks like I'm gonna have to do some uh, some extra work here. So I'll be back, guys. All right, back together now. As I was saying, guys, listen, if you ever want to look at the inside of a big cube, don't. <laughs> Just watch this video and you'll see. They're not a pain to put back together. This one is actually really intuitive. There's a lot of similar parts that uh, are mirrored or there's a part that goes this way and this way that are the same part. So 
Um, there's not a, a whole lot of parts, very easy to sort and very easy to put back together. Now, the only reason this came apart was because I took it apart. So um, I can see that this thing is like, look at the tensions. Like there's hardly any give in this puzzle. Like for its smoothness, um, it is a very tight puzzle, but it stays together so well because of that. All right, guys, so it is time to scramble this puzzle up and I'm going to do a solve. I feel like for the most part, uh, you've got to have it pretty aligned in order to do more moves, but um, I don't want to pop it. Like, I don't know if it can pop or anything. I just, I don't want to pop it just in case because, uh, I mean, I was able to put together three layers because I popped three layers out by taking it apart, but I, I don't want to, I don't want to have to put the whole thing back together. <laughs> And I'm sure you could speed solve this. I know that some people have magnetized the 8x8 and 9x9 versions. But this is starting to look really nice. And I hope the 12x12 is of this quality because, I mean, wow. <laughs> it's amazing. Alright, so I'm going to call that scrambled. That is a scrambled MoU 11x11 cube. I don't know what that noise was. I don't know if you heard it or not because I have a directional microphone, but that was loud. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and solve this. And I'm also going to be posting a solve. Not my first solve, but I will be posting a solve with commentary. Probably do a Q&A over it as well. And uh, so you guys can really see the turn in quality while we're solving it. I don't speed solve them, but I will be trying to go as fast as I can, obviously, to shorten the video. But anyways, guys, I will be back. Okay guys, so I have done two solves on this. I've had it for just over a day now and I was gonna review it after one solve. I did the one solve and then I tried to do a super flip pattern on here and I ended up screwing that up, which was really good because then I was forced to solve it again so I could bring back to the state for this part of the video. And it, the second solve was different. Now what I mean by that is this cube needs to be quite aligned before you can make the next turn or you will risk popping a piece. Now I haven't popped a piece, but you can pop pieces out of here. So this is what I mean, right? Like if you have some piece, uh, a layer turned and then you keep going, you'll pop one of these pieces out you really have to be careful because these pieces are really, really thin and they could break easily. So risking popping this puzzle is not the best idea, but it's still so smooth. I feel like if I backed off the tensions anymore that uh, it would become unstable and be very easy to pop. So I recommend when you get this puzzle, if you get this puzzle, that you just keep it the way it is. If you're happy with it, it's very well lubed. It's very smooth, um, but just keep in mind to, to kind of have things aligned um, before you start doing things. Now, if people were to magnetize these, that would probably solve that problem. However, I'm not gonna go through the process of magnetizing this, but this is my new favorite big cube, uh, along with the other small ones as well. Uh, it's a good collection to have. I can't wait to get the 10 by 10, the 12 by 12, and hopefully further than that. I don't know if they're gonna produce any bigger cubes than that in the cubic form, but that, I think that would be really cool. I know 13 by 13 has been produced by Moyu, but that was pillowed. Uh, I know the 12 by 12 is going to be cubic, uh, and I'm assuming it's going to have the same color scheme because these puzzles here all have the same color scheme on every single side, which is uh, great for a collection. And if you wanted a size comparison, this thing is the same size as an 8 by 8. Now, I don't know the price when this comes out. I think it's another month before it comes out. I don't know the price that this is gonna be, um, but you're gonna be able to find it on websites like The Cubicle, and when that's available, I will put the link at the top of the description here. Um, I don't know the weight. Actually, you know what, I have a scale. Okay, so there is a scale here. <laughs> I know that it's black, so you can't really see it, and you can't really see the readout either uh, when it's down, so I'll zero it out and this 11 by 11 is 448 grams compared to the other one, which is 855 grams. And compared to the eight by eight, that's the same size, is 457 grams. So 448 grams. This thing is light, it's small, it's awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna make a solve video of this. I've timed myself, but I'm not speed solving and I'm kind of just like doing things and texting at the same time. It took me an hour. 
for each solve, but I think I can get it faster than that uh, if I do it on camera. So I'm gonna do that and then I am going to also do a Q&A over it. So it'll be a long Q&A. So if you guys can leave your questions in the comment section below, they can be cubing related, non-cubing related, they can just be about me, they can be about anything really, like just whatever, it doesn't matter. And uh, I'll pick a whole bunch of questions and we'll answer them. So I wanna thank Moyu directly for sponsoring this video. They are directly sponsoring me now, so they will be sending me uh, all stuff early, I think. And, uh, and I get to show it to you before it comes out, which is really cool because I haven't really had that privilege in quite a while. I've just been getting things after. But anyways, um, thanks again, Moyu. You guys are awesome. And thanks to you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.